on each side. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Remember always to keep a good posture and your abs tight. Also, lock those wrists. You don't want them turning in when you're coming up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. The next exercise is a deadlift into a squat shoulder press. For this, keep your feet about shoulder width apart and your knees nice and loose. So we're gonna bend over, keep our back straight, knees slightly bent, come up, into a shoulder press, and that's one rep. You wanna do 10 to 15 reps. So I'm going to bring you through five. That's one. Two. Three. It's important to keep nice, steady, controlled movements. That's four. And that's five. For the last workout, or exercise rather, in this circuit, we're going to put these down and we're going to do dips on the chair. So I'm going to grab a regular kitchen chair, make sure that it's stable, hands on the edge. And you want to lower your butt straight down to the floor and then straight up. So legs out in front of you. Arms are going to end in a 90 degree angle. One, two, three, four. We're going for 15 on this. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. This is for your triceps. Five, four, Three, two, one. So that's one circuit. In between this, to keep the heart rate up. We're going to try a little bit of jump rope. Many of you have not done this since you've been in grade school, but give it a try. It's a lot of fun and it works almost every muscle in your body. I'm going to do this for about a minute. Don't get frustrated, just start up again. Little jumps. Keep this up for at least a minute. I'm not going to do a full minute, so I don't waste too much time showing you how to do it. And then you're going to go through that circuit again two more times for a total of three times. The next part of the routine is the abs core portion. I do abs and core in every single workout. Not the same exercises, but I'm always training my core because it helps with every single exercise that you're gonna do, even running. If your abs and your lower back are strong, then it's gonna be so much easier to gain strength in your arms, and your legs. So we're gonna start off with planks. Just a traditional plank with your elbows on the floor. 
butt lowered, back straight. Remember, don't tuck your chin or lift your head up too high. And we're gonna count this out for 10. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Put yourself up into a push-up position and we're gonna do 10 mountain climbers. That's your knees to your chest and you don't necessarily have to put your foot on the floor when you bring it up. So I'm just bringing them up. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Back down for a ten count. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Keep your abs tight during this. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Run through that one more time. So it's three times in a straight plank for ten seconds, alternating with mountain climbers for a ten count. That should bring you up to approximately 50 seconds to one minute. The next exercise, we're going to use the medicine ball. We're going to do side to side and then a chest press up above your head. The modified version of this exercise is keeping your feet on the floor. So I'll start off like that. You're going to face forward and twist, twist to the chest and up. And that's one rep. I want you to try to do 20 reps of this. Once you've achieved that, you can move to a heavier weight even within the same workout. I'm starting with a 10 pound ball, but you can certainly start with four pounds, six pounds, whatever's comfortable for you. And from the front, with my legs up, it'll look like this. That's one rep. Now, if you don't have a medicine ball, you can use a dumbbell for this exercise. You just hold it like this. We have one more ab exercise after this. Let's move this out of the way. If you don't have a weight bench at home, you can just use your coffee table. I'm going to sit with my butt near the edge, hold on tight, make sure it's stable, not rocking around. And I'm going to bring you through five reps. This is one rep. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Ideally, you want to do 10 to 15 reps of that, and then add on as you feel stronger. So that's the circuit for the abs core. And in between those, to keep the heart rate up, jumping jacks. You can do 25 of these. Run through that whole part three times, and then you have your entire workout. So it was the strength combined with cardio, and then the abs core combined with cardio. And that's your entire workout. Remember to cool down with a stretch, a walk, or a jog, and you're golden. That's it.